So I'm doing another video here to explain how I attach these planking pieces. Um, so what I do is I use um, the Silver Tip System 3 Silver Tip. I use that because it um, has a long cure time and also blush free, which isn't a big deal with this particular part of the boat. But, but it gives me like almost an hour working time because what I do is these boards, like I've got those over there ready to go. I just did these four, third layer on the bottom. These are ready. So what I do is I, I flip them over and, and then the area where I'm going to uh, place them, I just mix system three and I encapsulate that area. And then on the back side of the boards that I'm putting down, I also encapsulate those. So I do where I'm, I'm going to put them first, and I encapsulate these, and then I mix a batch, another batch of System 3, and uh, then I thicken it with these microspheres. Thicken it to maybe like Elmer's glue consistency or so. And then what I do is I spread it. So then I, I spread the thickened epoxy on the area where the boards are going to go. And I use a a trowel like this, but I use the smooth side. I don't use that jaggedy side. Smooth it out rough with that. I did take a picture of this after it's spread. And then I buy these cheapo chip brushes and I cut them off so they're you know, half inch, three quarters of an inch. So after I spread with a trowel, the rough spreading, and then I take this brush and I spread it nice and even it out everywhere, make sure I get all the edges and stuff. Here's that picture that I was talking about in the video showing how I've got the thickened epoxies uh, placed on the boat ready for those planking pieces. And then here are the planking pieces after they've been attached, uh, like I talk about um, in this video. Um, and then I use a, I guess I forgot to say when I encapsulate, I use these four inch foam rollers to do the encapsulating with the thinner epoxy. So, and then uh, I have these boards all laid in order. Of course they're numbered. And then uh, I'll lay one at a time and you can see where I have the battens marked. And, uh, and then I use um, these uh, composite nails with my Omar nailer there. And I use these longer ones, which are I think five eighths of an inch long. That's what they are. Yeah, so I, I use five eighths inch these composite nails for around the edges and where the battens are, you know, where there's thicker wood underneath. And then I use these smaller ones, seven sixteenths, um, for in between areas. So in between the battens, and I'll run a row. And here I ran, I think, two rows. But I push down, and when I lay these boards before I nail them, I kind of slide them around a little bit just to make sure the epoxy is all good and spread around. And then as I'm nailing, I kind of just, I press with my left hand down around the area, and then with a the nailer, I press down and make sure I get a good, uh, get them good. And I get a little bit of squeeze out along the edges, which is good to see as you're going along. And I kind of do one at a time. So I do the first board, nail it all up, and I bring the next board. And these boards, on this leading edge of each one, I put a little bevel on the bottom side. Um, it's good because it allows a little bit of uh, epoxy to kind of squeeze in there. Um, and then on this middle, I took a picture of it, but I, I'm not, I already took it off. For the first set of boards on one side and then the next side I'll do, I'll do those next. I, I tack down a guide board to give them some, give it something to butt up against. And don't forget to take that off after you lay the boards. Otherwise, it could become permanent and it'd be hard to get off. So anyway, that's how I do it. And uh, so now I am working on the third. Uh, and I, well, I, before I get on it, I, I lay the boards where I'm putting the encapsulating epoxy. I just use my boat as a workbench. So yeah, I'm working on the third layer of uh, bottom planking and then uh, after this I'll do the first layer of planking on the transom of the pretty veneer wood 
And then after that, I'll do the third layer of planking and sides, which will be also veneer. It'll be um, genuine mahogany, South African genuine mahogany. And uh, I'll do that on the sides. And then the bottom, I'll do uh, my final fourth layer, which will be six millimeter plot or four millimeter ply. This is all four millimeter. I'll do another layer of four millimeter ply up up into this area where I haven't marked it yet. And then that front area will be the the uh, genuine mahogany. So that's where I am so far.